What's up guys? It's and today we're watching another World of Warcraft video. Now, this is actually um not this is different. This is not about trolls. This is about a lady called the Broodmother or Nixia, or Nixia. I don't know who this is. I just saw the thumbnail. I'm like, mm. so I clicked on it, you know? <laughs> I don't know who this is, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw her and I clicked on it. Um, This is, she apparently she's the smartest villain in the World of Warcraft. So that's actually pretty interesting. I'm, I wonder, the smartest villain. She must've done some crazy stuff. But since, since it's titled the smartest, I'm assuming she's done a lot of crazy things, like very tactical stuff on, on some like, on some Death Note L type stuff, but we'll see. Let's get into it. Hold on a second, before we begin, do me a favor, <clears throat> do me a favor. If you guys have a video you would like me to react to, comment it down below, comment it real fast. If you have any videos up in your brain that you want me to see, just leave it in the comments down below. Leave a link, cause I would prefer you to leave a link so I know what video you guys want me to react to. And once you've done that, I'll probably react to it. Um, and make sure you leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys plan on sticking around. You know, you, you don't have to subscribe if this is just gonna be the one video you watch from me. But if you plan on watching multiple of my videos, a lot of my videos, sticking around, enjoy my content, I wanna see him watch some more World of Warcraft, then subscribe, why not, you know? Join join my figure, uh, join my uh, cult, you know? Join join my cult. We can all be one big happy family. All right? <laughs> yeah, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below if you have any reactions, because I wanna watch more of this, these for you guys, and I, I really enjoy watching things that you guys want me to watch, you know? Don't, I don't wanna watch anything. I wanna watch things you guys want to watch. So, um, yeah, leave it in the comments. And let's start the video. This dude platinum. And what's up? Villains of... and WoW that picture looks all so have funny. the same sort of archetype. You know, they're strong badasses that use their brute strength or overwhelming magical power to grab hold of Azeroth. That's a point A to point B plan of attack. But Nixia, Nixia. She's a different story. The black dragon sneaked in the Stormwind masquerading as a noble, masterfully participating in political subterfuge Conniving. for years until it was her Conniving. time to strike. Conniving. She is a different villain. A villain that plays 4D chess while the rest scramble to find strength. That's crazy. What the crap was that? Oh, and yeah, she's also a giant dragon with brute strength and overwhelming magical power. She's a dragon? <laughs> What the heck? I thought I Our didn't know people story could become begins dragons. Before classic. Deathwing tells his two children, Nefarian and Anixia, that they need to secure the Blackrock Mountain, and they agree. Nefarian went to go team up with the Dark Horde, and Anixia disguised herself as Lady Katrina Prestor, a Stormwind mm. noble. From within the Alliance, she used her power and manipulation to restrict the amount of aid being sent to places like the Burning Steps, where her brother had the most control. While this was all going on, Katrina Prestor continued to spread her influence and redirect troops through Elwyn and Stranglethorn instead. Which created a massive debt. A debt that would cripple the kingdom's economy. This Dang. was the perfect time to cause chaos within the city because Stormwind was just rebuilt by the Stonemasons Guild. These are people that just spent years of their lives making the city with the promise of being paid but when it came time, the nobles of Stormwind's pockets were empty, and mm. they clearly weren't happy about that. And during this time of turmoil, Katrina Prestor played both sides like a fiddle. She convinced the stonemasons that they needed to be paid more than what they were promised, mm. and she convinced the nobles that the craftsmanship of the city was shoddy at best. And I mean, I have to agree with her there. Look at the Dwarven District, there's just like these giant logs floating <laughs> the above the street, mouth. <laughs> and this has to be a safety hazard, right? <laughs> The unrest exploded with riots in the streets. The Stonemasons Guild got only a fraction Dang, of what was promised, 
and now they were out for blood. That's crazy. The upheaval culminated in a death that would change the course of the Alliance forever. Oh. Queen Tiffin Wren, Varian's wife, was struck during the riots and murdered. Oh, oh my goodness. That's sad. The King of Stormwind fell into a Great Depression, and Katrina used this to her advantage and continued to manipulate the King all throughout the Third War. But as Varian's relationship with his son grew, her grasp on the King weakened. She needed to think quickly or her master plan would crumble to dust. Mm. Varian made the trip to Theramore to talk peace negotiations with Thrall and Jaina, but during the trip, Katrina Prestor hired Defias Brotherhood goons to kidnap the King of Stormwind and take him to the Naga-infested Alcaz Island to perform a ritual that would split him in two. One of the Varians would be the weak-willed half that would be subservient to Lady Prestor, and the other half would be the strong-willed Varian that she would kill after the ritual was done. Oh. He looks like the dude off of uh, the... The short animations you've been reacting to. It is the done. Scar? I have sundered your will. Now, by my power, I shall annihilate it. And you will be my creature, body and soul. But wherever that island was, apparently it wasn't as deserted as Anexia thought. You fool! You who dare occupy our island are now prisoners to Morgulatark Squall. Who the dead she? take no prisoners, Siren! Kill them! During the fight against the Naga, the two Varians used it as a distraction to break free from their bonds. Dragonspawn warriors! Shed your human guise! Grab the puling human! He is the one I must have! Destroy the other! and slay the Naga who would bear witness to this night's work. As you command, mistress. Oh my goodness, Through the blur man. of combat, the weak-willed Varian was swatted off the edge, comet. falling into the water comet. below to eventually be kidnapped by the Naga. It was at this point, Anixia shedded her human disguise and attempted to burn the remaining Varian alive. But in a brutal display of cunning, he used one of her henchmen as a shield from the flames. Be pretty cool. Onyxia foolishly thought she killed the King of Stormwind and departed. The strong-willed Varian was left to be surrounded by the Naga, but escaped by jumping off into the water but lost his consciousness on impact. Ah. Dude's crazy. This is where we're at in Classic. Varian is missing and assumed dead, and his son, Anduin, is the ruler of Stormwind, but his position is more superficial since Bolvar and Katrina Prestor are his advisors. During this time, Katrina continued to restrict troops from being sent to places like Westfall, Lakeshire, and Darkshire, and that is a big reason why adventurers, aka our characters, go to those places and solve those problems ourselves. But eventually, a special someone came back. Who is that? King? I have returned! Varian returned back to Stormwind. <laughs> the people were told a ransom was paid to the Defias Brotherhood to get him back. A ransom that was paid by a special tax placed on the citizens. But this Varian was not himself. Mm. This weak-willed king Us, weak seemed one. infatuated by Katrina and shrugged off any real kingly responsibilities, like dealing with the threats of the Blackrock Orcs and the Dark Iron Dwarves. It was Anduin, Varian's son, who was the first to be suspicious that this was not in fact his father. <laughs> Meanwhile, strong-willed Varian washed up on the shores of Durotar to a rude awakening. 
Dang, man. One battle after another. Oh. Nice move. 20 silver on the human. You're on. He's free, Rokul. Pay up. No way. That blood scent will drive it nuts, and that spar won't stop it. The guy's crockbait. So let's raise the bet to four. <laughs> Rhaegar Earth Fury, an orc shaman, stumbled upon Varian during his fight with the Krokolsk. It was a perfect opportunity to capture another prisoner. Did he shoot lightning at his fingertips? After the Crocolisk was slain, it was obvious that Varian had no idea who he was or how he even got there. Yes, Lost his he'd memory. make the perfect combatant in the arena. Oh my freaking goodness. And so, the strong-willed Varian was captured, forced to be a gladiator for the Savage Horde's amusement, unaware of his true identity. Be continued. What's up with orcs always putting people in freaking arenas? Like, bro, not everyone wants to fight. Oh my goodness, man. Okay. All right. Cool. I like that. That was just part one. We still have part two to watch. Okay. We'll watch it later. Like I said before. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you enjoy my content and plan on sticking around. And comment down below if you have any other reactions, any other videos you would like me to react to. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.